This one. What should I do? Sweet treats for free, 
as Pigmalion. On the 5th of June, every year, towns across the country hold a Christmas parade called Kalidad de Deus, which sees three wise men greeting children or handing out gifts. These men are taken through the streets to a church in a carriage, and part of the tradition involves throwing candy from the carriage into the crowds. However, it has led to several injuries as children scramble to collect what they can, and something unfortunate happened in the year 2013. A six-year-old boy, Alega, was killed when he went into the street to collect some candy and was hit by the carriage. Rules are now in place to prevent such tragedies from ever happening again. And children in the region will have to resort to getting their candy the same way as the rest of us, by annoying their parents and they will come around. Number six, Hippie City. The 60s were the most experimental times of all. Probably that's the only explanation for how a product like Hippie City ever made it to the market eventually. They consisted of multicolored chocolate balls contained with a vial, and to get them, you had to suck through the needle. The similarities to drug use weren't accidental, but were, in fact, the whole point of this candy. They were designed to replicate hippie drug culture with needle and sandwich being associated with heroin. Yeah. And colored balls representing uppers and downers. To make things even worse, they came up with slogans that say, I'll try anything, and we sell happiness. Needless to say, they were pulled from the shelves a less than a year after being released, as they were spreading the wrong message to the children. Using drugs and slogans. Yeah. So, I look at that, yeah. Potentially be one of the most dangerous products ever in the world. Number five, Kinder Eggs. Kinder Eggs and Wonder Balls are one of the candies that are the dearest to all children and some adults too, if they're being honest. The specialty of these candies is that they can be a plastic toy to play with once all the sugary goodness is gone. Kinder is available for a buck. Each Kinder Egg contains a collectible toy to assemble, but it has been banned in the U.S. for a long time. It was due to a law passed. 1930s that strictly prohibits non-nuclear objects from being placed inside Kinder Egg food. The major concern was that some people wouldn't be aware that there was something in the treat that contained candy, and the community was serious joking. While this may seem like an overzealous market, the concern isn't completely inflated. In the year 2016, a three-year-old girl in Phoenix died after choking on a toy in a Kinder Egg, and there have been several instances where injuries have happened because of swallowing the plastic ingredients. Despite several desperate attempts to bring the food back to the U.S., it looks like it's going to make us very sick. Number four, Karibo sugar-free peel candies. Karibo is one of the world's most popular candy flavors, but despite making plenty of products that kids as grown ups love, they haven't always gotten things right. In 2014, their sugar-free gummy bears gained major attention, mainly because of the side effects by the people who ate them in large quantities. This was because of the replacement of sugar and blood in some cases that's almost as sweet as sugar but contains half the calories. Its main ingredients are maltitol, sugar alcohol, is an inflammatory species. If it's present in high quantities, it would start to feel dense. Okay.